What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you 5 things Destiny 2 seriously needs. But before we get into that, do you guys want to win some loot? If so, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so Destiny 2 is a great, great game, don't get me wrong. But it still has its problems. Not as many as the first game had, but still there are things within this game or not within the game that need to be added or changed to make the longevity of the game a little more substantial. Yes, for sure, there are many, many things to do, but the core system of the game, in my opinion, offers less than the first did in its last year. Yes, for sure, that's understandable, as the game is less than a month old, but the way players of the franchise grew on the game, Bungie surely would have known that content was going to dry up really quickly. Now there is an argument where people state this game has turned into a game for casuals, which is meant to meet their needs. When in fact it used to be a game for hardcore grinders, but now of such are left being bored after the first few weeks. Yes, both sides put up a great argument, but there are still things that can be changed and added which will benefit both sides of this player fanbase. Today in my opinion these 5 changes would definitely help the cause. Ok so the first thing that needs addressing is the lack of things to spend legendary shards on. The amount of shards most people have is a joke, me myself I have way over a thousand, but I know people just short of 5k and the only thing we have to spend these shards on are exotics from Zer, which is stupid to be honest. There 1000% needs to be more things incorporated into the game in which we can spend our shards on. Now ideas of what shards can be spent on are in the hundreds, problem is in Bungie allowing us to stack shards the way they have, whatever they do incorporate into the game for us to spend these shards on, we will basically be fully loaded already. So it's going to be a hard incorporation but in the long run I do believe it's what is needed for the game. Next up is the issue with strikes being basically irrelevant. There is actually no reason at all to grind them, no reason at all to even play them. No exclusive loot, no great rewards. They are basically pointless additions, not really needed. In Destiny 1 there were loads more strikes which offered exclusive loot. Even though most of it was pretty bad, it was still there for people to play for. In Destiny 2 strikes are one of the most irrelevant parts of the game in my opinion, and a close second are Lost Sectors. I remember Bungie stating before the game's release that Lost Sectors would be new things to explore and find things and eliminate bosses in some kind of mini red like puzzles and activities and ways to earn fresh new great loot when in fact Lost Sectors are a complete waste of time, they offer no puzzles at all, no challenge at all and no loot worth going into them for. Even if they added like a bigger token reward with the added difficulty of enemies within the cave and then cooldowns on the actual Lost Sector chests, that would do. But the fact that we're going to lose Lost Sectors, run through all enemies, defeat the boss within these caves within milliseconds and then open a chest which gives us basically nothing we need is another pointless addition to the game in my opinion. Next up we have the lack of weapons obtainable in the game. Now the reason I'm saying lack of weapons even though there are quite a lot obtainable in the game, they feel lacklustre due to the fixed rules. And this is a problem many thought would be the case if there wasn't a huge arsenal of weapons obtainable in the game. Now while there are a few, it is far from a large arsenal and the fact weapons have fixed roles make it feel like there's even less. Weapons in Destiny 1 did not have fixed roles, so the variation of different roles on a single weapon was crazy. A role determined the weapon and that was fun in itself, it added a whole different grind to the game, one grind for the weapon and another grind for that perfect role. So although the weapon numbers in both games ain't very high, in Destiny 1 there seem to be thousands more just because roles were not fixed. Now in Destiny 2 we don't even have to look at a weapon's roles before we delete it as we know exactly what they are going to be. Once you get a weapon dropped for the second time you never have to look back and this also adds to the problem with your shard collection. Fixing roles in Destiny 2 might have made things easier for Bungie and the game developers on nerfing and buffing things, but as a player and a lover of the franchise, in my opinion it was a poor decision. The addition of more weapons, even if they are reskins, with different perks and so forth, are definitely needed. Ok so next up is an issue many people have, including myself, and that's being forced into playing PvP modes you don't want to play. There are obviously two playlists, competitive and casual play. The problem is a casual player who wants to play the game casually will want to play the game of their choice. Being forced into game modes you don't want to play sucks. I play casual most of the time for control. When that happens I normally get 10 games of supremacy in a row, which is just not fun to me. If I wanted to chase orbs I would like to pick that game mode and go and chase orbs, 
If I want to capture points and defend points, it seems as though I still have to chase orbs, and that in my opinion is a problem. I know Bungie did state that mixed playlists and 4v4 mods are easier on their servers, which in turn help connection and stability in games. But in my opinion, and I'm sorry, but that is definitely not the case, connections to me seem no better than what they were in Destiny 1. And although I do quite enjoy 4v4, I seriously don't see the benefits it's supposed to have brought with it. But yeah, the point of playing PvP at the moment to me is to have fun. I can't have fun being forced to play game modes I don't want to play. Adding the choice of game modes in my opinion is a must. And I actually think it's something Bungie may add in the near future. Okay, so the last thing I feel needs to be added in the game is some sort of ranking system within PvP. PvP at the moment is, well, after about three games for the average player, boring and pointless. There needs to be something in place which entices players who ain't real big fans of PvP into playing this side of the game. PvP, after about a month or so, is where a lot of PvE players look to go into when PvE content starts to dry up. But we need a reason to play it. The crappy end of game rewards just ain't enough. And if I'm going to run into sweats each and every game, I want something to play for. A ranking system would do just fine. Giving people ranks to build and progress towards would add a whole new level of fun to PvP. It's what's fun about most other multiplayer games. People love to rank up and chase that top rank. Even if the rewards for ranking are limited to basically like an emblem or something like that, at least it's something for us to play for, as in my opinion after a few games of PvP it becomes seriously pointless and boring. Ranking systems in COD, Battlefield and Overwatch are all great additions people love. It surprises me how Bungie can't see this, it seriously does. Now the worst thing about the 5 things I've mentioned in this video is the one thing I want to see most and that being a ranking system in my opinion is the least likely to happen and I don't understand why. It's 2017 not 1997. Something like this shouldn't be an issue incorporating into the game. A simple little icon or number next to your name in PvP would do just fine. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video and these were 5 things I feel need to be added or changed within Destiny 2. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If so leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.